All right, if you've ever worked on an old um, Tektronics oscilloscope, I believe these are out of the 7000 series scopes. Um, so very, very vintage. These are these funny little modules on the front end. They have like dipped legs on them. They're gold-plated legs and they plug onto sockets. They have two adjustments though. They're little plastic boxes with two adjustments and those are two capacitors. And this is high frequency compensation for the different channels and different uh, gain settings. So this one says 4x, this one says 10x, this one says 100x, this one says 2x. So they're, they're different gains and they require different frequency compensation for the different things. And uh, so uh, I thought it'd be fun to open one up and see what's inside and look and see how much money Tektronics decided to spend on these little things. Uh, so here we go. We have uh, the little box and the lid, okay? And then inside that is this uh, little guy here. Let me, uh, let's see, let me open one of these other ones up here. Here's another 10X. Let, so these, um, you can just put a fingernail underneath them and pop the, pop the little top off. So, so this is what it looks like before I uh, abused it. Uh, so it looks like a little PC board in there with two, uh, two screws. Um, and so that's what we're going to be looking at. We'll just pop this one back together. Um, so here's the little PC board. And it's very interesting. And then here's the little screws. Oops. Here's the little screws that go on top of it. So this is all way too small. And so let me, let me take it inside and we'll put it under the microscope and uh, see what's going on here. Um, before we do that, let me make one measurement here while I've got uh, stuff out in the lab. Uh, let's uh, back up a bit here. All right, I think that's in camera there. So I'm going to measure a couple points on this board. I'm going to measure across these two pads here. And we get one megohm. And I'm going to look across these two pads. And I get uh, 900K. And across these two, I get 111K. So it's, it's, a, it's a 10 to 1 division, right? It's 1K and 9K, you know, 1, 9, and 10, all of the uh, multipliers there. So um, it certainly has some resistors in it, all right? So that's what I wanted to show off. Let's go inside and I'll show you what those resistors look like. All right, this is one of those little uh, those little units. You can see there's like two little two little sunk down uh, screw screw pads down there, and uh, it has a little uh, snap on lid. And those are the other side of those little spinny knob things. And let me see if I can pop the lid off of this one so we can see inside again. All right, so there we go. That's what's inside. There's some blue things, looks like paint, <laughs> and then those little turny things. So yeah, what is all that stuff? Okay, here is the substrate. And uh, we have uh, these two little half moons here. And, uh, and then these two things. Now these two things are resistors. So this is a uh, alumina board. So it's a ceramic board and it has deposited resistors. So this was the uh, 111K and this was the 901K. And together they were one meg. And uh, then the, uh, one of the, one of the, this, this uh, resistor goes across these two pads and this resistor goes across these two pads. And what are these two pads? Well, these two pads are gonna make up a variable uh, capacitor. So how do you make up a variable capacitor? Capacitor. Let me see if I can't show that. All right, so laying on top is this little guy here, okay? And he's he's very, very thin, and the backside is it's like a PC board. The backside is non-conductive. And so he's gonna sit here. And then depending on his oops, depending on his uh orientation. He will either have more capacitance or less capacitance. This is about 50% capacitance right there. And then if he gets turned, 
you know, you can go to, to uh, different values, oop, different values of capacitance. And so there's two of those on there. And then there's just a little plastic wheel that has the screwdriver slot. And that's how it works. Then there's a little shaft that goes through the, uh, so let's see here. Let me show the wheel. All right. So here, oops, here is a wheel with a little slot in it. All right. And then there's a little uh, axle, I guess you call it an axle, uh, th and that kind of pokes through the, uh, that kind of pokes through the part, and uh, let's see here. And then there's a little, uh, I forget what you call these things, these little bent washers. There's a couple little bent washers on the other side that apply tension. So the thing, the thing stays put. So that's what's inside these things. Pretty cool. I like it. Now that's probably a lot of money. Unless there's an underline on that one. So I guess it's number six. So. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and these little guys here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I like it. Let me turn them over. You can see. Oops. You can see the bottom. I'm not good with these. With this microscope here. There we go. There you go. You can see the bottom side is just uh, non-conductive. Anyway, thought it was interesting. Uh, just a kind of a quick look into what's inside these weird, weird module things that uh, Texas. And, I mean, uh, that Tektronix used to use. Of course, nobody would do this anymore. Um, I think it's a bit overkill, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's fun.